Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here, bringing you guys and gals Tensai Oji no Akaji Koda Saisei Jutsu. I hope I said that right. The Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt, episode number two. We're going to get right into it, everybody. Um, I've heard some interesting things in terms of like people's thoughts on the series. Again, I watched episode one. I thought it was perfectly fine. Um, it felt a little bit flashed. There wasn't a lot of substance, but it was very funny. I know a lot of people have been criticizing the fact that episode one skipped over a lot of content and i mean apparently like chapters upon chapters of content just to get to that random battle it was interesting but even i can feel like there's some world building that we have missed there's some character interactions that we have clearly missed and i didn't necessarily like that as i looked back on the episode i was like they couldn't have given us a little bit more nonetheless if you're coming into this for a laugh to find it enjoyable i think the anime will still do it for you but because now i'm curious i do kind of like want to go back and check out the source material, kind of compare. But nonetheless, we're sticking this anime, episode number two. Let's see what's going to happen here. Um, I have one of my best girl candidates in Neem in this series. She is best girl. She's one of them. She can't overtake Manin, of course, though. Uh, Sonobi Skidoru, highly recommend. My Dress Up Darling. Watch that series if you have not watched it yet. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, so let's get into this episode, everyone. And we're going to start this episode in five, four three two one and looking at twitch chat what's happening yeah again that's what i'm saying like if you trade him you're in better shape because you can get like good stuff for dame love the universal opening never fails never fails Okay, let's see what's happening here. I, I'm a believer we trade Jason, J Jalen Brown, man. I know you're kidding, but that's how I feel now. Ooh, Nima. What is happening here? They tease us. Teasing us with that scene. Celtics are sellers. <laughs> oh, definitely not you. Definitely not you. <laughs> you fool. He's like, they're big and soft. I was like, that's me, but he's not, he's not dreaming about you. I'm sorry. I can't even. <clears throat> Again, I wish the Celtics kept Rosier. I really do. I really do. I feel like the biggest mistake is that we had a good point guard in Rosier who was, like, clutch. And we let him walk. For Kyrie, who didn't even stick around. I don't think we traded anyone. I th we didn't trade anyone. We let him walk. Okay, let's get into this, everybody. I'm curious to see where they're going to go with this episode. Let's see our boy Wine do some crazy stuff per the usual. It's so funny because I came into this thing that Wine, honestly, again, didn't have much to offer. And then I'm just like, this guy's actually a genius. He just doesn't realize it. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, something's about to go down. Something's about to go down here. <laughs> Yo, those dead issues. <laughs> You're so sad. Thirty thousand troops. Hmm. Osman looks like a fiend. The more I watch this show, the more I feel bad for wine. <laughs> He's like, we got money. He's like, nope, nope, money. Has, there's absolutely nothing in the mine. He's not wrong. Until this new kingdom comes and attacks you guys for the mine. Interesting. You mean Harris? Wait, again, you mean Harrison Barnes? I don't think that'd be worth it. I wouldn't do that deal. <clears throat> Dang. I mean, Pritchard can't even start because he has Shooter over there. But I'm I'm in agreement. I want Pritchard to get more minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wine, what's the strategy this time? Makes sense. My only question here is how do they plan on stalling them of all those troops? Drawwood? Oh, these guys are going to fail. I can already feel it. I can already feel the incompetence seeping off of these two. <laughs> the way they animate this. Incompetence. Incompetence. His sister? They have the high ground.
So they're literally going in steadily, and then afterwards it becomes a much narrower battle. Hey guys, I'm watching. Give me. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Okay. They about to make use of this mind check. <laughs> I can't. Hi. Can you imagine Brad Stevens gave me a call just now? Could you imagine? You guys are being baited. It's a trap. It's a trap. But did you ever think that they're luring you in there intentionally? It's over. And it's, and it's narrow now. It's a trap. From above? Is it going to cave in from above? Yeah, caved in. GG. GG. I mean, it's working clearly. The general's like, oh, I'm smart. Oh, I got this. Psych. This man, like, easily. Better version of Lelouch. He's a better Lulu's V Britannia. If I could use a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, Wine is like the guy in Yu-Gi-Oh, like myself, who has like he's going to get someone doing all these XYZ summons and things like that. Crazy powerful monsters. And he just got like that banished jack, just literally willing away your forces and make you just angry. Some a little Yu-Gi-Oh reference. <laughs> Um, looking at chat. Have to make big move. Light him up. Here we go. <laughs> That's rough. How do you let them get that close? How do you let them get that close to you? What? Huh? No, there is He literally has you just dancing.
What makes you think they'd send their entire force after you? No. No, bad decision. Bad, bad decision. He knows you have a numbers advantage. So why do you think he would send his whole entire troop after you? Baited. <laughs> Guys, I gotta say, I was in it for the comedy, but watching Wine just mentally dominate people is very enjoyable. <clears throat> This man over here just making moves. Mm hmm. Bruh, shut up, wine. <laughs> uh, getting to answer your question, yes, I would say yes, that is correct. At least you're trying to negotiate. Slice him down. Slice him down. Mm hmm. Board your trash terms. What? What kind of strategy is that? What was negotiation? You asked for so much. What are they getting out of it? That's so stupid. Oh no. Again? This is the second time now that they've made a reference to her and her background. Oh no, wine? That your word. He's about to go in. I can feel it. Get him out of here. I'm gonna crush them now. Now it's over. Now it's personal. Here's my thing though, and it goes back to again skipping stuff. I need to know if they just skipped giving us any explanation as towards her background. We realize that clearly she's discriminated against, but we have no idea why. And that's kind of annoying. I don't know if that's been skipped or if that's just a fault of the source material. I don't know. Dead. Oh, God. Who is... What? From where? How? Was that wine? How? Is that wine? He came himself. Wine is a boss. 
I'm here for your head. What? And it's a useless mountain at that. Huh? Yeah. There's two? Mm hmm. That is smart. Please, uh, please off this man, please. Please get rid of him. Oh, your wine is amazing. Neem is my heart. Oh, this boy's a gangster. What? So he's trained. This is hype. The fangs that will sink into our necks. This man's a legend. Oh, I want to know so much more. I want to learn so much more about him. Guys, you don't understand. I thought he was a joke. I thought he would be trash. But this guy is a boss. I, I, need, I need, guys, yes, I agree. Chat, I need to know more about him. Nima's going to probably be like, don't never put yourself in danger like that. Hmm? How? How? No, that's done. Martin's gone. <laughs> the useless mind can no longer be sold. Ooh. Read ahead with the manga. I I I might. Because I just feel like now that I've heard that they're skipping stuff, I feel like I'm missing things. <laughs> Nima's like, nah. This man's forever busy. He can't win. <laughs> just can't win he just wants to live a chill life I feel for him wine I truly do feel for you you're a good man you're a good man are we going to get a post credit scene no there's no post credit scene okay everybody once again this show I'm definitely sticking with it Wine is a hundred times more interesting of a character than I thought. We got little glimpses of it during the first episode in terms of like his intellect. I didn't expect him to be this good. And then on top of that, to also be a fighter. And now we have this understanding that he was like top of the military, 
But essentially, this the Empire had erased all the records of him. And now, this man is literally just like, he's dangerous. He is very, very dangerous. He's lazy, but he's dangerous. But again, my biggest frustration, they're teasing us with this, and we're not getting the development. I want to know what is happening between him and Nima. And if anyone here reads the manga or whatever the source material is, I don't know if it's a light novel. It feels like a light novel, honestly. Uh, yeah, the source is a light novel. Anyone here who reads the source material and knows about the light novel, etc., please let me know. Should I be reading? Should I go and read like some of the earlier chapters of this? Like, Are they skipping stuff that maybe they bring back later on? Who knows? I just feel like there's something between the relationship of him and Nima that um, is clearly important. And maybe they're going to explain it later on. I'm just worried that because of all the stuff I've been hearing from people that it's been skipped and maybe they don't expound upon it more. Um, I'd imagine they have to. I, I'd imagine they have to. But again, let me know. I'm very curious. I want to know more about Nima. I want to know more about the backstory for Wine and just kind of go from there. But I, I'm sure the anime is going to explain some of this. They can't just keep us in the dark the whole entire season. Uh, but yeah, everyone, let me know your thoughts once again. This is a very surprising series in terms of like it's not great but the two the characters like wine as a character is very very interesting so even the show itself is like it's okay i, I would consider this okay uh, wine takes it to a level where i'm just very intrigued and i kind of care about what is going to happen so know your thoughts in the comment section down below for those who are anime only like myself uh how do you feel about this series so far are you enjoying it uh definitely kind of curious but then afterwards we'll go from there like the video, if you like the video, comment, subscribe, like my content, greatly appreciate it. And with that, I'm Lender and I'm out. Take care, everybody. Peace.